Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0, Day 39. So today we're going to wrap up our designs segment by actually creating two different assets, kind of putting together everything we've learned over the past couple of days. Um, I'm going today to create a social media Facebook post for an open house, and then we're going to create a print postcard for a just listed. So kind of walk you through what the actual processes look like based upon everything that we've learned over the last three days. So let's start our social media post. We're going to click on the plus sign in the bottom right. We're going to click on social and then create design. From there, we are going to choose a open house template. So let's come down on the left hand side to open house. We see it to believe it. I like this one. So we're going to use that and click on use. And from there, this grid has four different slots for photos, plus a area in the center for text. So you can see the four different photos here. I've got my DBA in the bottom right, and then I've got a circle here for text to be entered. So the first thing I wanna do is change out these photos. So uh, right now, KWLS, the um, bringing in the listings from KWLS to designs is down right now. So typically I'd be able to come in here, search for an address, and then I would have all the photos of my listings show up. So the workaround for that is just to go back to images. I'm gonna click on images. I actually have the images of several of my uh, listings saved to my Google Drive. So let's go in there and find those listing photos. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose. Let's say I want to highlight the fact that it's in Cinco. I like this one because of the open door. It That house had a great kitchen. Let's see, uh, maybe great room looking into the kitchen. Let's do this one. And then it had the pool shot. Let's do this one. All right, so just chose four photos to be brought in. I just clicked on all four that I wanted to be brought in. So you're gonna to start to see those populate. So here's one, two, three, and four photos that show up. And let's just go through and we're gonna place replace each one of these photos with these four photos here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on the top left photo. I'm gonna come over to the one of the front door and I see this replace image arrow. I'm gonna click on that. So it replaces that image. Let's come over, whoops, I don't know how that happened. Let's get rid of that guy. I'm gonna come over here and click on the second one and let's click on the replace for the kitchen. Next, I'm gonna come down to the bottom one. Let's click there and let's add in the pool. And from there, let's click on the bottom right. And I want to replace that with a sinker wrench. So there you go. So I have my four images. Let me get rid of this. Um, I think there is a photo quality issue right now because these are photos that I actually pulled down from my MLS personally. And I think they had already been shrunk down to um, basically to, to, to be optimized for things like mobile viewing and such. So I want to make sure I used high res photos. Obviously, you can tell these are not the, the highest res photos. So I probably would not use these and yet just kind of an example of how to replace those four images. Next, I wanna get rid of this DBA logo, so I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on Delete. I'm gonna go into my library where I have my DBA, and I'm going to click on it. It brings it in here full size, and I get that cross emblem. I'm going to click and drag that logo down here to the bottom corner. It's a little big, so I'm going to click on this top left dot and drag. So I'm holding down the mouse key and I'm dragging slowly so that it kind of resizes and I'll put it right there in the bottom right. Next, I have this see it to believe it. I want to put the date and time down here towards the bottom. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on the see it to believe it. It's actually two separate text boxes in this example. So I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to click on the up arrow to make sure that I keep these in the same alignment as one another and as they originally were. So I'm just clicking the up arrow, it's moving see it up, see it to up. Now I'm clicked on believe it, and it's gonna move that up as well. The font that we are using in this um, example is the uh, Open Sans, I believe is what it was called. So I want to add in a text box down here. So I'm gonna click on text, let's do subtitle, I'm going to then click on the text and I'm going to change it from Lotto. I'm going to start searching for that open sans. Here it is. 
And let's just go with that one. Let's see, maybe bold it to make it look similar. Um, that's pretty close. And I'm going to then drag it down just a touch. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the typewriter button here. And I'm going to put open house. And second line is Thursday, uh, let's say Saturday. 1, 3, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. I'm going to click on Save Changes. And then I need to resize that, obviously. So let me click on the box. I'm going to change the font size. Let's see a 14. I can go bigger than that. Let's go 18. I can still go bigger than that. I'll just keep going until I get a font size that looks good here. Let's see. Oops. Let's see what... Uh, Let's see what that one looks like. So I want to center this font as well. So I'm going to move this arrow over here and then drag the entire thing to the middle. You can see that blue line shows up. That's how I know I am centered directly there. And then I wanna come up here to the top on text alignment and click on center. From there, I can actually drag this right button out just a little bit further. I'm going to drag the left out a little bit further. So I'm kind of at the very corners of this circle. And let's make that just a little bit bigger of a font. So let's go from 26 up to 30. I bet I can go just a little bit bigger. There's 34. All right, perfect. So now I have an image that says, see it to believe it. Open house, Saturday 1, 3, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. I've got the four photos replaced, and there are the four listing photos. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I have my DBA logo in the bottom right. I can come up here and change the name of this graphic. So I can say open house. Um, I'm not sure which of this was Lodge Meadows, I think. Lodge Meadows, Saturday uh, 1 3. Okay, so that's what the file is going to now be named. And I can come through and click on download. I'm gonna post this to social media. So I want a JPEG, high resolution, start to download. And I'm gonna wait for just a couple seconds and pretty here shortly in the bottom left, I will have a document that shows up. We've got my files been downloaded, here it is. So then I could come into my Facebook page and let's just say I wanted to throw it here on my um, page and just put in a photo. I would pull from my downloads, which I just did. I'm gonna sort by date, which one? Here's the one that was just created. I could click on open. And there is the asset that I just created within KW Command, ready to go to post to my Facebook page. So that's how simple that is. I will, uh, tomorrow we're actually gonna launch campaigns. So tomorrow I'll show you how to actually schedule a post like that to go into um, Facebook, but you could post it to go out a few days. And you can see now these images have cleared up. I'm not sure why they were blurry at first, but once we saved it and downloaded it, it looks like they have now cleared up and look pretty sharp there. So again, I'm just going to do file save and I am now done with this version of my asset. So I now have the Facebook one done. So I'm going to click on done. It's going to take me back into command. And the second thing I told you to do is adjust listed postcard. So let's run through what that would look like. I would click on the plus sign, print, create design. And obviously guys, creative, I mean, the sky's the limit. You know what I mean? I'm making some very basic changes just to kind of show you what can be done. But you guys can utilize everything that you have learned so far and make it very, very, um, you know, the creative style of postcard or Facebook graphic or whatever you're creating. So. Um, I have now gone into templates just listed. I want to do a just listed postcard. I really like these portrait style. I think it catches the eye a lot more than your standard postcard. I think we get a lot of these and you know they kind of end up in the trash. I really don't even really look at them. But the portrait one, because it's just oriented differently, it kind of snags my eye. I, I think I would probably look at this more than I would look at the standard one. That's just my personal opinion. So let's click on use. Now look at the number two. That means that this is a two page asset. So when we come in and click on use, at the bottom here, let me close this download out. At the bottom of the WeBrand editor, you're gonna see that there are actually two pages that we're going to need to edit on this document. Here's page one, 
and now I click on this number two here is number two the second one that we need to create so we're gonna go into the first one I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna minimize these pages so that I can come in and start editing it, it says this one's a keeper 1050 Heather Lane here's the information on the property so let's just click on that photo I'm gonna come in and click on add. I already have uh, some of these images that I just uploaded. So let's say I wanted to replace it with the pool image. I think that's a pretty sharp one. And I would wanna come in here, double click on this text. I can go to the typewriter and I can change this to 23106. Save changes. Actually, this is 1906, just kidding. Wrong listing. Uh, 1906 Don Hollow was this listing, so I would come in, click on that. There's 1906. Let me click on Heather Lane. I can go to the typewriter there and put Don Hollow. Let's make sure that it fits appropriately. And it does. I'm going to move it up just a touch. There we go. All right. And that's home. Uh, I don't remember offhand. I am fairly certain that it was a three bed 2.5 baths so let me go to the typewriter and click on 2.5 bath um, whatever 2306 square feet and I think it was built in I don't know 2005 so I can click on save changes and there I have that was really simple right I have now changed the front of this postcard with a photo of the listing um, I've got the property specifics here and then the address I'm gonna click on next page and it's gonna show page two that we need to go in. And you can see there's a few things that we need to go in here and change. So the first thing is the DBA. So, and here's one thing I told you I was gonna teach you today. You can see how when I'm clicking here on any of these boxes, I'm only getting, well, at least I'm not getting when I, okay, just kidding. Let's click on the DBA and, all right. So originally I was getting just this box. It wasn't allowing me to click on anything else. So what I need to do is, is kind of move this box to the very bottom of my layers. And I can do that by clicking on Arrange, and I'm gonna send that box to the bottom. So once I've done that, then it becomes easier to edit all of the assets that are on top of it. Or it should, there we go. All right, so I can delete that DBA. I'm gonna to come to my library, bring in my DBA. Let's shrink it down just a little bit. Um, white, especially if this is gonna end up being a white postcard, does not look good. So I'm gonna delete that out. I'm gonna delete the placeholder and let's bring in the charcoal version. And we'll drop that right on the top, make sure that it is appropriately sized. And there we go. Okay, it needs to be over just a little bit. All right, contact me for more details or to schedule a tour, that's fine. That's not me. So I'm gonna hover over my agent photo. Again, the replace image is there, so I can click on that. It replaces the, that image of that young lady with mine. And then I can come down here and I can go to the typewriter and pull out your name. And they were doing all caps, so let's just stay with that. Marty Miller, save changes real estate team name i go back up to typewriter and highlight that delete it and put in my team name save changes and then i can come down again go through the typewriter and pull all of this out so i would just do my cell and then I could go through and put in my website, my email, and I can do all that just to save some time. So I'll click on save changes, and then I would have the back of this postcard saved as well. Now here's one thing, when we do postcards, we have to save them as separate. So I'm going to go ahead and, first of all, let's name our postcard. So this is 1906 Don Hollow, just listed. Okay, and then I'm going to click on download. I need this as a uh, PDF for the postcard. I need to only download page one. I have to download when I'm doing postcards because I'm gonna upload them as separate documents. So I need to make sure that I do download one-to-one. -one. And then also in publish settings, you need to make sure that you use manual bleed. And that should be whenever you're doing a postcard, you need to make sure that you have the manual bleed. So I'm gonna start that download. That's gonna be number one. 
and then I'm going to come to next page. I can click on download again. Okay, and now I'm doing from two to two standard web, and I'll probably use high resolution print quality. I did not do that on the first one, so I'd probably come back and re-download that first page. So start download, and let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna download again. It's taking a second to pull in this graphic, so there you see the second download. So let me do a download of page one. Again, just using the high print quality, high resolution, manual bleed, start the download. And now I have both a front and a back downloaded and ready to go. So what we're gonna do tomorrow is we're gonna get into campaigns, and the first thing I'm gonna do is teach you how to actually send out this postcard that we just created today. I'll show you how to send that out tomorrow. So look forward to that, and then we'll keep running through campaigns, show you how to set up uh, Facebook ads, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, how to schedule posts for your Facebook, and get into some of the other amazing things that we can do within campaigns. So as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Special shout out to Keller Williams Austin Southwest and Austin Northwest, who I'll be uh, training with tomorrow. Looking forward to working with you guys, and uh, can't wait to kind of see uh, interact with y'all and uh, get you trained up on command and uh, really get to meet you more importantly. So looking forward to that. Again, everyone have a fantastic night. Thanks so much.